Welcome everybody back to Intangible Commerce. Thank you so much for joining today. There's a lot going on in the industry with respect to robotics. A big show coming up, Promat, has a lot of robots at it. Really exciting. So if you're going, I'll be there with uh, with Lajua and uh, wanted to take a few seconds to talk about why robotics aren't scary when it comes to workforce impact for the WMS sector, um, warehouse management, fulfillment, e-commerce, but as well, chatbot GPT is getting a lot of steam lately, right? It's really weird. Oh, my God, it's going to take over the workforce and people won't be having customer service jobs anymore and this kind of thing. And it's really not that big a deal right now for what it's doing and maybe the further implications of what it can do in future. Sure, that's there. And we'll explore it when we get there. But if you look at the labor shortage in the market right now, especially with customer service teams. You can't have people sitting there all day typing on a keyboard doing chatbot stuff when there's a thousand other customer service issues going on. We have to be able to service these customers and, and we have to be able to get to them quickly. Excuse me. Uh, we have to be able to get to them quickly. And with chatbot, it, it simply allows you to take that mundane thing and silo it. The GPT, chatbot GPT, it can in, in other chatbots that are out there, not just even that one, but there's others. This is, just happens to be one of the most popular right now, um, probably because it's one of the best right now. So all it's doing is taking that information and funneling it. And it's doing a lot of weird stuff because it is an AI. So it is using the internet to learn what should I say when this happened. It's got some bugs, but every new thing does. Within the warehouse space itself, the most successful models, and I'm not going to call any one company out because there's a couple that I really like, um, it's an augmentation of the experience. It's not, I'm the user and I'm getting completely replaced in the warehouse by robots. That model isn't very effective right now. There are some tasks that can be taken over, but it's not what you think. It's not like the bots going out there and picking full pallets. Like they, That's not the the meta right now isn't that it's really the augmentation of i follow behind the robot the robot goes down its path it stops tells me what to pick pack tells me what to do hey go grab this take pallet jack do that load it here on the bot itself or back into a pack station and then the robot will will then basically say hey go to this next robot or go here, do that. It, it's augmenting that experience. And anybody in a warehouse right now working in the warehouse industry can tell you how difficult it is to get warehouse staff, but especially when you're competing with other warehouses to get the same staff. The labor market just isn't there right now for warehousing. So you've got you know a big problem where you can't fulfill your customers' goods. And what happens if I buy something or if you buy something online, be honest with yourself. You want to buy a water bottle, whatever it is online, right? You go and you buy your water bottle. It's not there in two days. You're upset. You're not happy about that. So you, you can't expect to maintain customer service levels that are, are now industry standard and are getting tighter and tighter with a, a, a workforce that just isn't there. So you have to augment that experience with robotics. And, and there are some great companies that do that. And it isn't taking over the warehouse. Again, it's just taking over tasks that we need to free up anyway because we don't have the people to do it. And that's all these things are doing. Uh, I could see a future where you won't have as many people working warehouse jobs. I mean, this market is dwindling. Uh, in it's, it's doing two things. It's growing just crazy, right? Exponentially, just growth, 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 growth. At the same time, that labor market, it's not growing at the same rate as the demand. So we got a big problem, and that's where robotics comes in. And as e-com and fulfillment grows, it blows people's minds to learn that e-com is not king of the crop. It's not even half of the GDP. It's not even half of what people spend on retail. That is still brick and mortar retail, you go to the mall, you go to the shop, you go buy it, you're hands on, you get an instant gratification out of that experience. That's still what is the majority of buying. So as this industry grows and grows past the 25, past the 30, into the 40, 50%, we're going to have a big, big problem. 
because there's not enough people in the labor pool to fulfill that, to take care of that. We have to get robotics that are even better than where they are today. And there are certain companies who are continuing to improve that. But you will always, always have work in the warehouse, in the logistics sector, in the customer service sector that a robot just can't do. AI just can't do. Maybe in 10 years, but not today for sure. So that's all I really want to chat about today. Just a quick take on where we are. Robotics is coming up. Promat's coming up. I'll be out there with Lajua, so look us up. If you're not familiar with Lajua, we do have integrations to robotics, and we do work with a lot of folks to help them achieve a, uh, a smoother experience in the warehouse space, right? And that's what I do for, for people as a whole. Even if it's not a warehouse management software you're looking for, look us up there at the at the show. Come by and see us. And let's just talk about what you do have going on. Uh, there's a lot in the market. I know a lot of big players and folks that might be able to help you out. So, you know, let's have a conversation. I would love to get feedback. What do you think? Comment right down here or wherever that box is. Let me know. Hey, I hate robotics. Here's why. Or, hey, Ray, I love robotics. And here's why. Let's have a conversation. Be respectful, but have a conversation. Thank you so much. Have a great week.